Hello and welcome back to the Out of the Park Developments YouTube channel. My name is Alex Murray. We've covered a lot in our tutorial series so far and we are continuing today with another one. This time we're going to be running you guys through what to expect from a full season of OOTP as a general manager. All of the events and random things you're going to have happen, well not random, but all of the events that are going to happen to you during the course of a regular season. This is going to be part one of two parts. This one's going to cover in-season events and then we're going to have some postseason and off-season events as our part two. So if you've got your OOTP 22 games open, let's head on over and let's get started. Alrighty, welcome into our OOTP 22 game as the Braves. We are currently 6-3 and three for the regular season, and we've already hit our first event of the year. As you can see, I've already popped us into the league events list. You can access this by going to MLB and then going to the reports and info page area and then go to League Events List, and that'll take you right here. So you can see we're going to run through a couple different types of events that happen over the course of a regular season. The first one being the Draft Pool Announcement. We've already gone through Opening Day. That's just the start of the regular season. Draft Pool Announcement, we will cover the All-Star voting beginning on May 22nd. This is when you're going to begin your All-Star uh, voting, and you can actually also be in that, and you can participate as a voter. Their international free agency signing begins on July. July 1st. We will talk a little bit about that as well as the first year player draft, which happens on the 11th. Alongside the first year player draft is, of course, the prospects game. The all star teams are announced. The home run derby is the next day. And then the all star game is on the 13th. And then last but not least, we'll cover the trade deadline, which happens on July 31st. So let us begin with the draft pool, beginning with the email that you will get. So most of these events will come with either an email or a new active event that happens under the MLB drop down menu. And for this one, we're going to look at the email. So as you can see from this email, this is basically just an introduction to who is going to be available in our first year player draft, which happens later in the month of July. And you can see our list. We are given some of the uh, early favorites to be picked early in the draft. And it ranges from, you know, people and most of these names you should probably know. You see Rockers on the list and we see Lawler and, of course, Freelick and House. So you can also, including on top of this list of players, there are two links down below, the OSA mock draft and then the draft pool itself. You can actually go directly to the entire pool by clicking on that link right there. It'll take you to this page right here under the first year player draft section underneath of draft pool. And then, of course, the other one takes you to the mock draft, which is the last tab of that same section. This will give you information about who is expected to be drafted when, as well as the full list of players on the draft for the current season so you will want to use this information as much as you possibly can to be able to give yourself an advantage about who is going to be upcoming in the draft all right now that we've officially covered the draft pool announcement we've advanced on to the 2021 all-star voting begins this is basically just a random day event you can actually define when this event happens and how much time you have for voting on your all-star players if you want to have less time or more time depending on when you want that to begin what will happen is you will get an email much like the last one this basically just lets you know that you can cast your ballot and of course underneath of the mlb drop down you can see there's a giant red little well not a giant but a little red dot that has an, an event that's happening. You have a live event. And we now can see that the all-star voting has opened up. You can go directly to the all-star ballot itself and enter in the players of your own choice and then submit that for your own choosing. Let us continue on with the next league event of the year. Alrighty, the next event on our list is going to be the International Free Agency Signing and this is basically the day that it begins. It is a couple of weeks of time frame that you're going to be able to be using to get this next event accomplished. Again, we will be looking at another email that comes into your system and called the International Free Agency or Free Agent Signing Period Starts. That's the title of the email. And it's going to be similar to the first year player draft, but in this case, it happens immediately. You are given a list of players that are potential people for you to go out and acquire for a certain amount of money. And as you can see, also there is another event that pops up on your MLB drop down area. This one's called the International Amateurs. 
And you can see our list down below here is going to be listing all the players that were generated by the AI or by the game itself that you can pick from. You will be given up to $5 million to spend on these international amateurs. If you go over that limit, if you have it set up to allow you to go over that limit, you will be penalized the next season. and You will be limited on how much you can spend the next year. But I would only really do that if you see people that are very good and people you actually want to invest some of your own money into. You can negotiate with these players and as will the rest of the league to be able to acquire them to your squad. That is International Amateur Free Agents. Let's move on to the next list of our events, which is going to be the All-Star Week and the First Year Player Draft. All righty, we've gotten up to our next event of the year, and that is the first year player draft. Very similar to how the other events have been, we get, of course, a brand new email telling us that the first year player draft is upon us. And we can use that draft pool list from before to be able to process through the first year player draft. You can also notice that we have the uh, negotiate with draftees. This will happen immediately after we get our drafting done. We have to negotiate with our draftees if we have that checked on as an option. And then, of course, you can see that our prospects game is happening today as as well and we also have of course the all-star teams being announced today that is the other emails you will get as these are all happening on the exact same day and that was how it happened in real life so that's just how it went for the 2021 season let's talk about the first year player draft very briefly this is going to be basically the screen you come to when you go to your drop down menu of mlb and then go to first year player draft you'll be given this multi-tabbed screen where you can go about looking at not only the draft pool the draft order the log of what's happened history in the past the osa mock draft to see what you are projected to be landing in this year's draft we are expected to land land kumar rocker which i think is a bit of a that's a bit of an overstatement. I don't think we're taking Kumar Rocker in the 24th spot. And then, of course, to start the draft, you will go to the Start Draft page, or tab in this regard, and then you will be waiting until it is your turn to draft, so you can click the big green button to be able to do that. And, yeah, I didn't expect us to be drafting Kumar Rocker. Now, we could draft someone like a Hoglin. That's not too bad at this point. Montgomery is also pretty decent for an outfielder. We may pick him up. There are lots of people to pick from. Your scout will also be a good a good help in figuring out exactly who to draft from the first year player draft. Now, I know some of these people are pretty good, so I think Hogland would be the better option if he's going for a less. Uh, he's a little expensive on his bonus demand, so Montgomery might be the better choice at 500,000. You'd go for that. You can finish the draft at your will. Do whatever you'd like. We'll cover the draft more deeply in future tutorials, so don't worry about this one, folks. We'll do the rest of this in a deeper diver, deeper diving tutorial down the road. But of course, once you do finish the draft, you will be able to negotiate with your players in this negotiation screen. That'll also be part of your drop down menu inside of the negotiate with draftees. You can offer your negotiating process to your players that are on this list. You can give them their demands or you can try to lowball them or even give them a uh, the higher offer if they are demanding more money than expected such as people who are almost impossible to sign. They just give you a number, and you have to be somewhere above that number, and they don't give you a specific number. Those are very tricky people to sign, but they are, they are people that you are allowed to sign, and you can get them as well, even if they say they're impossible to sign. I've done it before. Trust me on that. Let's move on to our next event of the season. Of course, the All-Star game is right around the corner, and the Home Run Derby, we also can talk about that. In fact, let's just go ahead and just do it really fast because we can get right to it. The Home Run Challenge is something you can actually participate in, starting with OOTB 22 and moving forward. You can either play as any of the players or simply simulate them all to see the result. Now, we don't have anybody on the list. Oh, no, we do. Albies. 23 home runs for Albies. We will be rooting for Albies to win the entire thing. Let's see if he can even get past Cruz. No, he cannot. So we'll see if Mike Trout can win it all, and he'll be up against Devers and Mike Trout wins the home run derby very very impressive let us continue on to the all-star game and of course this is the last day of the uh, all-star weekend at this point the futures game already happened per per Geraldo Perdomo was the uh, prospect player of the day Soroka is still trying to get back from his injury at this point yes we've had injuries and of course the all-star game is just like any other baseball game out there except it's an event you can see all your players listed right here and you can play that game if you would like to 
Let's talk about our last event of the year. We will meet you guys all back here on the trade deadline day. All right, and last but not least for this part one of the league event of a regular season, we will be talking about trade deadline. Very simple, very easy to understand. Trade deadline is the very last day in the regular season you are allowed to make deals or trades with other major league clubs. Now, I don't know if this will apply to international teams as much, but it will at least apply to your interleague teams. Once you get past this date, the trade page, as you see right here on your screen right now, will be disabled and you will get a blank screen saying that the trade deadline has passed and you have run out of time. So this is the last day you get to be able to make any deals to get your team into a position to win it all by the end of the year. That is going to do it for the part one of the league events of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We will have more tutorials just like this one in the future. If you like what you see, please do hit that subscribe button for our channel. It helps us out a lot. Helps us know that you appreciate what we're doing as well as liking these videos. And of course, we will make more of these down the road with covering all different types of topics and subjects. I will see you all in the next one.